Welcome to Driveway Garage. This is just a little teaser video. Today, I'm buying my very first Mercedes-Benz. I've bought and sold a lot of cars. I usually find something with a problem and I fix it up, sell it, try to make some money for my time. Sometimes I get lucky, get really good deals. Sometimes I break even. Once in a while, I even lose money, unfortunately, but that's life. I try to go by averages. I figure if overall I can make some money, it's worth my time. Today, I'm going to go pick up a 1999 ML 320. It only has 108,000 miles on it. It's a super clean vehicle. It was owned by an older lady. When she passed away, it went to her son, and then they let their, their son drive it for a while, but super low miles. And probably in the last six years, it's set 80% of the time. It's got almost new tires on it. Super clean. I can't wait to pick it up. When I get it home today, I'll do a video on it or else tomorrow morning, depending on the wind and the weather, how hot it is. Anyway, just a little teaser. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, do a little research if you want on the ML 320s. They're built in America down in Alabama. This one's a 1999, and they're actually built on a truck chassis, even though it's a small SUV. All-wheel drive, uh, I think it's a four-speed automatic transmission with a V6 engine. It's got 12 spark plugs, two for each cylinder. This one had a check engine light on, which was a misfire in cylinder six. The guy thought maybe it was an O2 sensor because he'd replaced it. A year or two ago but it was just a random misfire number six I cleared the code and it hasn't come back in the little bit I drove it after that or actually I just let it run so it's probably not a bad coil who knows what it is anyway I'll do some more testing I'm going to change all the fluids the oil the transmission differential check it over really good I'm trying to think uh, that Oh yeah, the check engine light. Oh, and no heat and air. So I'm gonna check to see if it's got a bad fuse. Maybe low on Freon. There's a common problem with the blend door actuator going bad. So it doesn't change the air temperature. Wherever it gets stuck is where it's at. Whether it's hot or cold, I guess. And it sounds like normally it's blowing hot air. But anyway, I'm gonna check all that stuff and I'm gonna make videos on it. So. Stay tuned for some hopefully good videos on a Mercedes-Benz. I'm looking forward to getting it. I might even decide to keep this one. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video.